Hello. Good evening, class. Do you listen to me? Good evening. Yes. Okay, thank you for answering. I would like you to check out if you don't have any problem with your audio. Hello, Ivania. Thank you. Hello. Are you at work or at home? At home. At home, excellent. And Luz at home too. Thank you, Guillermo, Good welcome. Good evening, nice to have you here. Danny, welcome. Hello, hello, Danny. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Vanessa, welcome. Great hello. to hear. Carlos Miguel, welcome. Ana Veronica, thank you for being here. Let me check. Okay. Very well. Okay, class. It is so nice to have you here. Today is Thursday, September the 2nd, right? Let me see if I... The fifth. The first, yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about Friday, September the 1st. Yes, that's why I was checking. Probably I, I wrote uh, August. I said, sometimes you get crazy about the days, right? Also happens with the new year. También sucede con el año nuevo, sí. Cuando estamos en enero, you are still thinking about December or the year the last year, okay, when you type the date. So it is understandable. Uh, Jose Armando Pacheco, welcome. David Emanuel is joining right now. All of you are really welcome, Hi. guys, to the class. And as I was telling you, but today is Thursday, yes or no? September yes. the 1st, okay. And tomorrow is Friday, obviously, but the good thing is that tomorrow you're going to be finishing with the 50% of the course. So congratulations. Mañana ya estarán ustedes en el 50% del curso. Entonces, felicitaciones, congratulations for your responsibility and your persistence, okay? And remember, uh, by tomorrow at midnight, you need to be over with your midterm exam only for questions and also the homeworks for section number two, five homeworks, okay? It is about the simple present tense, yeah? And let's get started because the others probably are going to join later on. Los otros compañeros se van a unir probablemente más tarde because it is exactly uh, one minute in our class. And here we go. Okay, class. Ana Marlene, hello, welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, class, let's get started because when we start practicing, time flies. Cuando comenzamos a practicar, ya se dieron cuenta que el tiempo vuela, ¿verdad? Y nos hace falta. Yes? Okay, so here I'm going to share my PPT with you guys as every single day, como todos los días. Les voy a compartir mi presentación. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so today is September the 1st, 2022. That was correct. And here I have the agenda for today's video conference, which is number nine. Greetings, as every day, we're going to have a feedback. Vamos a tener un repasito de lo que hemos visto um, ayer y la semana. The objectives, one of you is going to help me as every day reading the objective for today's session. You're going to continue talking about your daily routines, but also your partner's daily routine at work. And uh, well, you know how to do it because we have been practicing. Your task, your goal for today is to develop the exercises at page 26, but we're going to work on other exercises too, okay? From your manual. And now I need one volunteer to help me reading the objectives for today, the specific objective and the last objective. The volunteer, please, please, who's going to help me today? Okay. Uh, I okay, do. please uh, do it. Participants will be able to talk about their another's daily from time, from, from time. Routines. Routine. Uh-huh. And the class objective? At, at the 
at the end of the class, participants will be able to express ideas using daily routines. Excellent. So you see, we are going to give a follow up of the, to all the activities that we have been working with during the week. And again, the reminder, what I told you at the beginning about homeworks and evaluations, okay? In this uh, week, in this section, you have to submit the midterm exam, only for questions, I think. And now here, let's get started with the feedback. Okay, we have been working with the daily routines at work, yes or no? We have been working with questions, interrogative sentences. Also, you have been practicing with yes, no questions. Yes, in simple present tense. Also, do and does in simple present tense, questions and negative and affirmative sentences. Let's remember that we use do for the following pronouns. I, you, we, they. And we use does for he, she, it. Is it clear? Estamos claros acá que utilizamos do para I, you, we, they. Does he, she, it. It is easier if you just remember that always, but always in simple present tense for questions, you use does for he, she, it. Y para todos los otros pronombres personales, utilizamos do, okay? Let's remember that. Also, class, you were practicing. And yesterday and the day before yesterday, you were asking, what is your daily routine? And for example, here at work, you have Mario checks social networks. Mario takes calls. Ruth does the food shopping. Rosa checks emails. Rosa prepares reports. Now questions. Does Mario check social networks? Yes, he does. Es la respuesta afirmativa corta porque estamos hablando de tercera persona de singular. And you need to, be, to pay close attention to the auxiliary. If they ask you if the question is with does, the answer must be with does or doesn't. But on the contrary, if the question is like in number seven, do Ruth and Rosa check emails? No, they don't. Why? Because the modal auxiliary is do. Ruth and Rosa, two different people. That's why we use do. A pesar de que son femeninas, pero como el sujeto de la oración son Ruth y Rosa. Es un sujeto compuesto por dos personas. Por lo tanto, utilizamos do que sirve para plural they. Yes? And in the answer is no, they don't. Or if it was affirmative, yes, they do. Okay? Estamos claros hasta este momento acá. If you have any question, please tell me. Si hay alguna duda me, eh, o pregunta, feel free to say it. Don't be shy. No es tiempo de tener pena, ¿verdad? Es tiempo de aclarar. Y para eso estamos acá, ¿de acuerdo? Okay? And then here, if you remember, you were practicing also with questions. Do you like ice cream? Do you like to play soccer? Do you dance ballet? Do you watch sub operas? Does uh, Vanessa like to listen to romantic music? Affirmative, yes, she does. Negative, no, she doesn't. Does, uh, does, Danny, does Daniel like to, like to go to the beach? Affirmative answer. For that question, who has that answer? Does Daniel like to, to go to the beach? The affirmative answer is yes. She does. Yes, no. he, 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 because it is Danny, Daniel. Yes, he does. Or negative answer? No. No, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, very well. And what about number eight? If I ask you, class, does Anna Marlene cook for the family? Affirmative? Yes, she does. Okay, excellent. And negative? No, she, no, doesn't. she doesn't. Excellent. Now, if I say, do um, Carlos and David play video games? Affirmative answer? Yes. Uh, yes, we are. 
No, yes, they, they do. do. They, they they do. do. Uh -huh. No, they don't. Porque no le estoy preguntando a usted directamente. Estoy preguntando si Carlos y, Emma, y David juegan eh, videojuegos. ¿Sí? Entonces, como estoy hablando de ellos, vamos a contestar con they. Yes, they do. No, they don't. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Do. Mm, do lose and milagro check the social networks at night? Affirmative answer. Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Yes, they do. And negative? No. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, muy bien, porque estamos hablando de otras personas que no soy yo, ni eres tú. Yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, a Ivania, eh, do bla bla en bla bla check the social networks at night yes they do or no they don't porque no le estoy haciendo la pregunta directa a ella ni estoy preguntándole acerca de mi persona sí yes. okay entonces in number nine was about boys and in number ten about girls why because for boys and girls you can use they para ambos masculino femeninos utilizamos they de acuerdo yes. okay questions and here, I'm going to show you this class. What do you do at work? You write the list. For example, check email, take calls, attend meetings, call clients, make calls, read. Look at number two and number five. They are different. Take calls when the phone rings and you answer, you take calls. But when you call somebody, pero cuando tú llamas a alguien, customers or your coworkers or somebody else, okay? You make the calls. In number two, usted recibe las llamadas. Toma las llamadas. In number five, you make the calls. Usted llama a alguien, ¿sí? Make calls. Number six, read reports. Arrange meetings, attend meetings, write reports. Again, number six, you read the reports. In number nine, you write the reports or you make the reports. Number 10, check reports, revisar los reportes. 11, turn on the computer. I turn on the computer. I turn off the computer. Acá enciendo la computadora. Turn off, la apago when I leave, okay? So what is the first thing that you do when you arrive at work? Tell me the first activity that you do when you get to work class. Okay, get ready. Con la primera actividad que hacen cuando llegan al trabajo. What is it, your first activity from your daily routine at work? Check what I know. Know. I check inventory, pero, yeah, pero, antes, check. A, a, pero antes, para, para revisar, eh, to check the inventory, no, no, que, que que, que, ajá, I turn on the computer, la primerita cosa, ah, ok, Guillermo, I drink coffee, ok, Marlene, para revisar lo, 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 la información que usted dijo, que tuvo que haber hecho antes? Eh, llamar a ajá. la sucursal donde vete. Ok, I make I make a I call. Make I, I make, make a call. Okay, excellent. Very well. So that is the very first thing. And Guillermo says, I take a cup of coffee in order to be productive. Yes, because many people, it is like a religion to take a cup of coffee in order to wake up, to be productive. And let's see, uh, Luz, Miss Filomena Luz, what is the first thing that you do at work? in your daily routine. La primerísima actividad que realizan. Think about bueno. that. Ok, David. Take information. Take information. Uh -huh. Ok, yes. and David, the first activity I, that... I check neighbor connection. Oh, excellent. I check the network connections, connectivity. But in order to do that, what do you do before? Pero para hacer esa actividad, ¿qué hace antes? Eh, Turn I on. Have I, I have breakfast. 
So, so the first thing is I have breakfast, yeah? <laughs> Before you start to work. So when you arrive to your workplace, you have breakfast. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Mabelin, what is the first thing you do at work? Mabelin, are you here, Mabelin? It seems Hello. like if you're frozen, uh-huh. Uh, turn on the computer. I turn on the computer. Vanessa? Vane. Okay, what is the first thing that you do when you get to work? La primerísima actividad uh, para llegar a, a, a cuando llegamos al trabajo. Eh, recibir, ¿cómo sería? Recibir los informes de la noche. De, okay, I receive. I receive reports. I receive reports. Danny, what is the first thing that you do? Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hello. Okay, tell me the first activity that you do. La primera actividad que hace cuando llega al trabajo, Dani. I own the computer. I turn on the computer. Francisco Enrique, what is the first thing that you do when you get to work? Turn, uh, turn off the computer. Turn on, I turn on the computer. Clelia? Miss Clelia, what is the first thing you do? Uh, turn on the computer. Jonathan, what is the first thing you do when you arrive to work? I turn on my computer. I turn on my computer. Jose Armando? I review discrepancies uh, on system. Okay, uh, Barbara, what is the first thing you do at work? Um, I check uh, emails. Thank you. Ana Veronica, welcome Ana Veronica. We were missing you. Se le extrañaba a Verónica. Okay, what is the first thing that you do at work? Turn on the computer. Okay, excellent. And Jose, Jose Mejia, what is the first thing that you do at work? Uh, I generate report. Okay, I generate reports. Carlos Miguel. Mm -hmm. Hello, Carlos. Carlos, are you here in this virtual hello. world? Hello, 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 sir. Okay, what is the first thing that you do when you uh get mm. to your workplace um <laughs> uh, i sit in, in my desk on your chair uh -huh, in my chair. <laughs> okay <laughs> and noah noe hello noe hello okay what is the first hello, thing teacher. that you the first activity that you do at work su primerísima actividad cuando llega el trabajo i tour on the computer Thank you, Serafín Constanza. Hello, are you available? Está disponible? Yes. 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 Okay. Tell to the Good class. Day. Welcome. Good evening. Tell me, what is the first thing that you do at work in the morning? Is uh, I drink a coffee and uh, they play in the computer. I I I drink a cup of coffee and turn on the computer. Yes. Turn on. Yes. Turn on the computer. Very well. Okay. So here we go, class. But before we 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 start and go deeper into this content, I'm going to take the attendance because I can see that everyone is here, and we're going to take advantage of that. Okay. So today, Anna Marlene, Marlene, present. Thank you, Anna Veronica. Present. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Present. Thank you, Carlos Miguel. I am. Okay, thank you. Clelia. Present. Dani Alberto. Present. David Emanuel. Present. Filomena Luz. Present. Okay. Francisco Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Guillermo, Guillermo Antonio. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth. Present. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present teacher. Karina Vanessa. Present. Okay. Milagro Mabelin. Present. Noé Isaí. Noé. Noé, where are you? Noé, 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 where are you? Noé, hello. I cannot listen to you, Noé. Hola, Noé. Noé, your microphone. No, estoy tomando asistencia. Present, present okay, teacher. thank you, present. thank you. William Francisco. Present. Serafín. Here I am. Here okay, I am. Okay, thank you. Okay, class, here we go. Remember the cameras on activated because it is a prerequisite. So here we go. And right now, okay, we're going to go over this. Okay, class, look at this. We're going to have a deeper feedback on do, okay? The modal auxiliary for the simple present tense. And here we go. Ask partners questions about their daily routines and give answers about my routines. Ask a classmate what he or she does every day of the week at his workplace. What do you do on Monday at work? What do you do on Tuesday at work? Okay, what do you do on Wednesday? And you mention one activity. To some people, it is the same routine, but for other people, they have variations because they have meetings, they have maybe, um, how can I say, a weekly, a weekly meeting, yeah? Or they have to meet customers, they have to uh, maybe an online uh, conference or whatever, yes? But to some other people, it is the same routine, the same activities. So you are going to mention one activity as I asked you at the beginning. What is the first thing that you do at work? And everybody told me. And imagine that you ask to your classmates, what is the last activity that you do at work? Imagínense, preguntan, ¿cuál es la última actividad que realizas en el trabajo? Think about that, okay? Piensen en esa actividad, la cual es la última que hace, okay? And then here, I'm going to read the information about each person's activities at the workplace. And you can find this in your manual at page 23. So we have do affirmative, do affirmative, don't, don't negative. Oneida Chicas, the activities that she does. Create software, repair computers, install antivirus, but also Oneida Chicas works with Nelly Pineda. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda, what are the activities they do? They create software, they repair computers, they install antivirus. What are the activities that they don't do? They don't sell computer programs. They don't exchange information about programs. The activities that they do and the activities that they don't do. If you notice, Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda, two people, two girls, plural, compound subject. If I tell you, what do Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda do at work? Then, well, they create software, they repair computers, they install antivirus. What don't Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda do? ¿Qué es lo que no hacen? Mm, teacher, they don't sell computer programs. They don't exchange information about programs. What about Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto? The activities that they do and the activities that they don't do. 
Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto, they keep track on the sales. They write reports. They buy new merchandise, merchandise. They buy new merchandise. What are the activities that they don't do? They don't receive money from sales and they don't decide what to buy, okay? So here we have in baby blue, the activities that they do and in orange, the activities that they don't do. What you are going to do right now is you are going to read the information again in the breakout rooms in order to answer the questions, okay? You are going to answer these questions, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five, and six. You see that here you have four, four, and four, but remember, we are human beings and we make mistakes. I didn't do this, somebody did it. Yo no hice esto, alguien lo hizo, but they made a mistake. So you have four, four, and four, but we say one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And if you are going to provide the answers later when we come back, we're going to, okay? We are going to double check the answers. Is it clear? Estamos claros? We're going to work at page 23, okay? If you want to take a screenshot of the activity, feel free to do it right now, okay? And you tell me when we can move to the breakout rooms. Me avisan cuando podamos movernos a los breakout rooms. Ready. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ready. Yes, okay. ready. Great. And you analyze the information. Remember the correct word order for the sentences, okay? For the answers. And also punctuation. Remember cameras on. Okay, here. Mm. One, two. Barbara Ivania Serafín. Verónica, ¿Eh? Verónica, are you here, Verónica? Ana Verónica, mm -hmm. ok. Sí, le escuché. Eh, ya, ya, no, yes, no, in the list. I, I, I am making sure that you are here. Okay. All of you are here, ok, but let me see. Because of your request. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jonathan, William, Danny. Okay. We're going to have one group of four people, and the others are going to have three three students because you are 19. I cannot have a perfect number because it is an even number. No puedo tener un número completo porque son 19 estudiantes. Entonces todos son uno de cuatro y los demás de tres, okay? So here we go. Open your eyes big because I'm going to send you the invitation at the moment. Here we go. Okay, go to your groups if you are so nice. And begin reading and answering the questions. Page 23. Go to your groups and work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noé, hello, Noé. Noé, I need you in group number two. Noé, lo estamos esperando en el equipo número dos. Noé, hola, Noé. Noé, me escucha. Noé, hola. No es, el micrófono lo tiene abierto. No sé si tendrá problemas con la conexión.
Work with software. Software. Duneida and Nelly work with software. Armando Pacheco. Hola, Armando Pacheco. Hola, hola. Cuando usted me vaya a hacer alguna pregunta sobre algún examen o alguna actividad, me lo hace vía chat directo, porque acá ya usted le está dando la respuesta a todos los compañeros y ellos no tienen la oportunidad de poner en práctica su conocimiento. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Okay. Por favor, pero le voy a contestar. Fíjese que acá la pregunta es, ¿Do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? Le está haciendo la pregunta en plural. ¿Por qué? Porque recuerde que you tiene doble función para if I say, hey, Lelia, do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? It is singular, but if I ask everybody, hey, class, do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? You say, yes, we do. Sí. If you, si, así es, entonces, por eso, porque está en plural el you. Le dije okay. desde el primer día de clase que el contexto de la oración nos iba a determinar si era singular o plural el pronombre you. ¿Se recuerdan? Sí. Por eso es que esa es la respuesta correcta. No es que esté incorrecto. Sí. Ok. Claro. Ok. okay. Yeah. Now continue, yeah. please. Ok. Thank you. Continue, please. Ok. Eh... Ajá, no pueden compartir la imagen de las preguntas. No las tienen. No, no pueden. Porque no les he dado la función todavía hasta este momento. Ah, ok. Ahora okay. you can do it. You can do it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Thank you. Ok. <risa> you put in practice your knowledge. Pongan en práctica okay. su conocimiento, ¿verdad? Porque así, si hay dudas, se aclaran. Ok. Bye. Okay, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you. Por Calchuapa. Ya. Yeah. Okay, Noé, thank God you're here. Okay, let's see. Uh, do Oneida and Mary work with software? Recuerden, short answers. Yes? Affirmative sure. or negative? Sí, respuestas cortas. Okay. Affirmative or negative? You have to analyze the information and you associate and you decide if it is affirmative or negative the answer. Okay? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. Bye. Pues harían respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Ajá, ahí donde es. Ella repara e instala. Y ah, claro. Nelly Pineda es lo que no hace. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, sir. Eh, ¿Verdad que lo que está en cada cuadrito aplica para ambos? En caso de Neida y Nelly. Yes, yes, that's it. Y las dos no hacen, ¿verdad? Yes, because they work as a team. Okay. Sí, porque es lo que ellas hacen y lo que no hacen. Por eso Ajá, está claro. Ajá, en don't, porque es plural. Si fuera singular sería doesn't, ¿ok? Ajá, por, por eso el yes, lo que sí, lo que no, aplica yes, para ambas. Yes, they do, no they don't. Yes, correct. Eh, de hecho, ahí tiene cuáles son las actividades que sí realizan y las que no realizan. I told Ajá. you, right? En Baby Blue, the activities that they do. In Orange, the activities the Oneida and Nelly don't do, and Ricardo and Max, they don't do the activities in orange, okay? Because you have the word and, Ricardo mata and Max Pinto, Ricardo mata y Max Pinto. Esta palabra and quiere decir que se refiere a los dos, okay? Sí, es que teníamos una confusión con los compañeros que algunos pensábamos que Oneida solo hacía lo de arriba. No, y no. Solo... No, porque lo de abajo es don't, que no hacen ellas, lo uh -huh. que no hacen. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Ok, okay gracias. Eh, entonces, la dos. Cell antivirus. Cell, ¿qué es? Vender. Entonces, Vender. la pregunta es, nos dice, ¿estás o Neida y Nelly venden antivirus? Okay. 
Yes, they do or no, they don't. According to the information that you have in the in the manual, in la página yes, es. They do. Okay. Y Max se ponen computadoras. No, they don't. No, they don't. Ajá, y do need an early instant program. Mm, but remember one thing. They no tiene que ir acá con mayúscula, ¿verdad? Y acá okay. el puntito final. Ok, remember that. Porque nice. si les toca digitar algún día las respuestas en la plataforma, esos errores se los toma como malo y le descuenta puntos, ¿ok? El viernes hay evaluación, si no me equivoco, y podría salir algo por el estilo. ¿verdad? Sí, mañana, Ajá. viernes, ahí está el examen pues, ya. Sí, mañana, ¿eh? Qué rápido ya. Sí, en lo que les decía, ya estamos al 50% del curso. Okay. Sí, en ese no hay repetición, ¿verdad? En ese que vamos a ver mañana. Mm, creo que no, pero lo pueden ir haciendo desde ya. Sí, como ahí está, ¿verdad? Entonces... Uh -huh. okay. todo depende si tienen buena conexión a internet por eso se les aconseja que lo hagan antes para que verdad no se queden a medio camino uh -huh. ok bye, bye. Ya lo respondimos, teacher. Yes. Hola. Ok, I'm reading. Do Ricardo Max repair computers? Do they not do or need an analysis antivirus? No, they don't. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Do or need an Nelly install programs? Yes, they do. Ok. And Veronica. What is the last activity that you do at work? Um, la ultimita, la última. Is send emails. I send emails. I would say I turn off my computer. Mm. <laughs> yes, I, I turn off the computer. computer. Okay, I turn off my computer. And you, Milagro, Madeline? Um, and turn off the computer. Okay. And or or I lock the the office. I lock the door. O como sería se, como sería cerrar la máquina. The laptop close. Close. Apaga. Okay, Apaga. turn off. Sí, porque ahí no, no. Porque incluido todo turn cierto. off. Uh -huh. <laughs> or close the, the, the computer. Mm -hmm. I close the computer. Yes. Mire, en la tercera oración yo, yo tenía la duda con yo decía ella porque si bien es cierto que cuando estamos definiendo las actividades de Ricardo y Max ahí uh -huh. dice que las actividades que no hace Max y cómo se llama Ricardo es uh -huh. por ejemplo no recibir dinero de, uh -huh. de la venta ¿verdad? yes y cuando preguntan el número tres do Ricardo and Max get money from sell, se entiende, se entiende lo mismo. Yes, it is the same. Mm. Receive or get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of synonyms. Yes, okay, very well. And do Ricardo and Max write reports? Uh, yes, they do. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Mm, no. No. Sí. Mm. Install mm. programs, sí. They install antivirus. Antivirus. Antivirus is a program, teacher. No. Sí. Antivirus is an antivirus. Ah, que es cierto. <laughs> Ajá, uh -huh, so, uh -huh, software is sí, es programs. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dejamos guiar por, por el verbo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pensamos en español y escribimos en inglés. ¿Por qué? Ajá, uh -huh, but vea, pero veamos. Uh, sí, do I need and Nelly work with software? Yes, they bueno. do. Trabajan, sí, porque los crean, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, do Ricardo and Max no do Ricardo and Max repair computers no they don't uh, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus no they don't they install do Ricardo and Max write reports yes they yes. do 
Eh, Duonate and Nelly install programs. Pero mi duda es el antivirus, antivirus o el programa. Eh, en ese sentido lo pensamos y por eso le pusimos que sí. Uh -huh. Es que al final el antivirus es un programa. En, en pero el... externo, ¿verdad? Que puede estar o no puede estar de antivirus. Yes or no. Sí, pero no la, son los, la, los, la no son los tradicionales. Problema, por eso lo hicimos así, pero no uh -huh. te Uh -huh. uh, hay que preguntarle a yo. Let's le, uh, yeah, let's le, let's yeah, Necesitamos a Jonathan aquí. Yep, uh, install programs because they only say install antivirus. And we think that antivirus is program. Yeah, but the confusion here is not with uh, with programs because software. Okay, the softwares are the programs. They create software. Ellas crean el software, pero no, los softwares, pero no los instalan. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí, sí o no? los crean. Mm -hmm. Ahí los crean. Sí, 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 They lo create, crean. ajá, and install antivirus. Y reparan computadoras. Correcto. Pero eh, install programs. Sería no de, no de, no. But antivirus is a program. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, they do. Because I think if they can create, they can install because they also uh, were repair computers, yes or no? So yes. logically, they, they, they work with, they can install programs. Okay, and let's see. Entonces la dejamos como yes. Yes, that's it. That's okay. okay, very well. Ah, uh, but now, Ana Marlene, what is the last activity that you do at work? I turn off the computer. I turn off the computer. Okay, very well. Now let's get back to the main session room. Okay. And here we go. We're going to discuss this and we're going to have a situation with the last one. Yes, because some of the partners maybe are in the same situation. You know, okay. hesitating, dudando, if it is affirmative or negative. Let's get back. Thank you for your participation. Let's wait. Okay, class, thank you for your participation. And now we're going to discuss the answers because maybe there is a situation with one of the, of the, of the questions. Okay, let's consider this one. Here the do's and here the don'ts, right? Number one, Duoneida, and you tell me, okay, the answer. Duoneida and Nelly work with software is it affirmative or negative? Do they work with the software? Affirmative, yes, they do. Yes, yes they do. They, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, great. Yes, they do. Now, in number two, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. They don't. don't. No, they, they don't. don't. Okay, great. What about number three? Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they no, don't. They don't. No, no, they don't. Okay. okay, very well. Now, do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Very well. Yes, they do. Excellent. And here, 
do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. don't. Very well. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No, they don't. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes. Why, yes, Jonathan? Yes. Why? Explain to the class, Jonathan, why? You are an expert on that. Tell us why. Because somebody said uh, no. This antivirus is a problem. Antivirus is software. Okay. In, uh, yes. Antivirus is um, a program, an external, right? Because it can be, it cannot be. Yes or no? Yes. Puede estar en la computadora o no puede estar. Pero por defecto creo que ya traen uno al inicio, ¿verdad? And when it is over, yeah. you need to buy another one. And software are the programs, yes? And yes. los software son los programas, ¿sí? And sí. But antivirus is another one. So here the answer, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes. Yes, they do under that perspective. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is why. And it is a kind of confusing situation because here software and antivirus, yes, they create software and they install antivirus. They don't create antiviruses. No, they create softwares, okay? Okay. I think that the person who creates the virus creates also the antivirus because it is the antidote, yes or no? Probably. Yes. It's COVID and anti-COVID, the, the, the vaccine, the vaccination, similar. Okay, very well. So right now, ask a classmate what he or she does every day of the week at his workplace. Now you are working with different people. And I was asking you at the beginning, les estaba preguntando en un inicio, what is the first thing that you do at work? Yes. ¿Cuál es la primera actividad que realiza en el trabajo? Y algunos decían, I drink a cup of coffee, I have breakfast, I turn on the computer, I open my office, yes? Or I um, check emails, but that is not the first thing. The first thing is that you turn on the computer, okay? Very well, depending on the nature of your position, dependiendo de la naturaleza de su puesto de trabajo, yeah? Okay, and then we're going to scroll here. We went through this yesterday, okay? And I'm going to give you a short explanation because if you notice, one of you posted a question in the WhatsApp. And here, it is just a reminder. Remember, we say, do I, you, we, you, they, correct? And then we have, does, he, she, it, okay? Tenemos acá dos veces you, porque recuerden que el pronombre personal you tiene doble función. Funciona como segunda persona de singular y como segunda persona de plural. Desde el inicio les dije, ¿cómo vamos a identificar si estamos usando en singular o en plural? Hay muchas claves. Por ejemplo, do you study English? Si yo les pregunto, hey, do you study English? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, I do or yes, we do. Si le pregunto a la clase. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Como grupo. Yes, we do. Ah, yes, we do. Ajá. Yes, we do. Porque le estoy haciendo la pregunta en general al grupo. Yes, we do. Ok. Pero si yo pregunto. Ok. Dani, Daniel, do you study English? Dani, do you study English? Yes, I do. En este caso, como la pregunta va directa hacia una sola persona, entonces la respuesta es yes, I, I do. Uy, 
I siempre con mayúscula y es I do, ¿ok? Y es I do. Entonces, eh, para todos y todas recordemos que a través del contexto es que vamos a determinar si es singular o plural. Or with the verb to be, for example, are you a student? ¿Eres estudiante? Aquí obviamente es singular y la respuesta sería yes, okay. yes, 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 I am. Porque acá estoy preguntándole con el verbo to be, no con do. Ah, no, do, yeah. Ajá, entonces les digo, tienen que fijarse con el auxiliar que les preguntan porque con ese mismo hay que contestar. Pero si pluralizamos esto, are you students? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? The answer should be yes. yes. We are. Ok, yes, yes we, are. we are. No, okay. yes, we are. We are, porque por lo mismo acaba de explicar que está. Para todos, porque acá miren, student no lleva S, es singular, solo uno. Y acá students lleva S, estudiantes, ¿sí? Are you students? Yes, we are. Are you a student? Eres tú un estudiante con el artículo indefinido, ¿se recuerdan? Un, uno, una, ¿ya? Ok, so I just wanted to remind you this before we go over because somebody asked in the, in the, in the chat. Mm -hmm. It is just a reminder. And here you are using you with do and here with the verb to be, okay? But no matter if it is a singular or plural, you use do, okay? Do over here. And here are. Acá no importa si es singular o plural, vamos a usar el mismo auxiliar. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Great. And now let's continue over here. Continuamos. Okay. And here we have do I, do you, do they, do we. Pero este do you. Okay. If I say, hey class, do you call other companies? You may say, yes, we do or no, we don't. But if I say, Jonathan, do you call other companies? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Porque es una direct question. Pregunta directa hacia él. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Okay. And now we went through this. And yesterday you were with these activities, okay? Okay. And here we go. At page 26, how to use yes no questions in simple present, okay? Yes no question, does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Does our company check the policies? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes. Now here you are going to create a question based on the answer. Vamos acá a formular preguntas considerando la respuesta. If I answer, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Yes, he does. Short answer and then full answer. He fixes the air conditioning on Friday. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar que vamos a utilizar? Do or does? Does. does. Okay, does. Does, does he? Does he fixes does. the Fix. Fix. Porque Fix. dijimos que cuando llevamos el verbo auxiliar does, entonces no le agregamos es ni s al verbo. Does he fix? Does he fix the AC on Friday? Friday. Okay. No le vamos a poner el question mark porque ya lo tiene. Okay. Now you are going to build questions two, three, and four. Okay. Let's try to do it. Tratemos de hacer. In number two, yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. What should be the question? Does she? Okay, excellent. Does she? 
many emails to customer. Okay. And we don't write the question mark because it is all over here. Okay, I say. Does she send many emails to customers? In number one, does he fix the AC on Friday? Now, number three, no, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Does she? Does she clean? Clean the first floor only. The fish. Does she keep? Does she clean the first floor only? Only. Okay. And in number four, you have yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales. Does he? Does, does Eric keep track on the sales? Does Eric keep track on the sales? Track on the sales. Okay, complete that. I'm going to give you a minute so you can work on the completion of this. And then we're going to work on the activity number six. Is teacher num number four? <gasps> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uy. Uy. What's that? That's very key. Thank you so much. Okay. That's the spirit. Esa es la idea, okay? When you finish, you tell me, okay? So I'm going to give you the instructions and we're going to move to the breakout rooms to continue with exercise number six. Finish, Ivania. Yes. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay, class, shall we move to the next, next activity? Okay, class, now you are going to construct some questions and you are going to ask 
to another classmate. For example, here, I'm going to write just some examples, okay? If I say, do you get up early? Do you get up early? Then he's going to say, yes, I do or no, I don't. Porque si trabaja en la noche o en la tarde noche, eh, nos, se levanta tarde, yes? And then, right, Veronica, yes. Because right now, Veronica is working. And then, another oh. question, for example, do you have breakfast? For example, okay, this is my idea. Breakfast at work. And then your classmate is going to say, yes, I do or no, I don't. Why? Because in some companies, they allow you to have coffee or breakfast at your desk. But in some other companies, mm -mm, it is not allowed. It is forbidden. It is prohibited. Es prohibido que coman en la oficina, en algunas compañías, sí. En algunas otras, si les permite comer, para en otras, no. Okay. And another one, do you, for example, do you, um, do you print papers? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh, do you, what else? Do you arrange the meetings? Okay. And the potential answer, uh, maybe yes, I do, or no, I don't. ¿Qué van a hacer con esas respuestas que van a ir escribiendo? My victim, for example, my victim is um, Luz. Entonces, Luz es mi compañera a quien yo le voy a hacer las preguntas y yo voy a escribir las preguntas, las respuestas que Luz me va a dar. ¿Por qué? Porque luego yo voy a escribir acá. Okay, here, van a escribir un párrafo acerca de la rutina del compañero o la compañera. And then I write, for example, Luz um, gets, up, gets up early, early, early. Okay, that is the first activity. And then she has breakfast at work, okay? And then we continue with the next one. Uh, she doesn't print papers. Ella no imprime documentos. Um, she doesn't Arrange meetings. ¿Por qué? Eh, estas son las respuestas que probablemente yo obtuve de mi compañera Luz. Pero acá, ask questions to a partner about his or her daily routine. So you write a paragraph describing what she does or she doesn't do. Lo que les contesta en negativa sería doesn't. ¿Sí? Y la actividad. Vamos a escribir párrafo. ¿Por qué? Porque no es listado, no es como un párrafito. ¿Qué es un párrafo? Oración. ¿Ok? Finish the sentence. Period, and then you continue with the other sentence. Period, and then you continue. Es la secuencia de las oraciones en esta forma. Por eso acá dice un párrafo. ¿Ok? I only wrote one, two, three, four sentences, but you may ask seven sentences in order to have a variety of answers, positive or negative. Is that okay? Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Yes? Yeah, y acá so. hay otras actividades. Yes. Ok, great. Remember that, for example, um, in the PPT that I showed you at the beginning. ¿Quién escribió? Serafín, ¿dónde anda Serafín? ¿Ya me escucha mejor, Bye. Serafín? Hoy sí, ya. Ah, yeah. Es cuando te, que... su internet probablemente estaba inestable. Eh, entré, me salí y volví a entrar, ya uh -huh. me funcionó. Okay, Gracias. perfecto, great. great. So here uh, you have some other activities. Check the email, take calls, attend meetings, call clients, make calls, read reports, arrange meetings, attend meetings, 
uh, write reports again. Mm, let's see, write reports, no. Read reports and write reports. Check reports, turn on the computer, turn off the computer. Les voy a compartir esto para que les sirva como, como guía, ¿verdad? Pero you know more. Pero ustedes saben más y tienen ya algunas actividades que sus compañeros hacen. Tienen ideas de cómo. Okay. Over there. Okay, great. And now we're going to be transferred to the breakout room so you can work on this activity. And here, okay, it is at page 26, yeah? Porque luego vamos a trabajar con el vocabulary practice here. For example, I would ask uh, to Jonathan, do you work with computers? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you fix computers? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you install antivirus, antiviruses? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Dependiendo de la naturaleza, ¿ok? Do you, bla, bla, y ahí van escribiendo, pero escriben el nombre del compañero. If in the groups there are three students, y si en el equipo hay tres estudiantes, no le vamos a preguntar al mismo. Ejemplo. Let's imagine Veronica, Ivania, and Carlos Miguel are in the same group. Ana Veronica asks a question to Ivania. Ivania asks to Carlos, and Carlos asks to Ana Veronica. Okay, so you're going to write three different paragraphs in the group. Yeah? If there are four people, then you take turns. Okay? No va a ser un mismo párrafo para todos. No. Tienen que hacer las preguntas a los compañeros. Así es que allí ustedes generan sus preguntas. Okay? So right now, let's move to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Okay. William, everybody's here. Let me see. Okay, right now I'm going to send you the invitation, guys. One, two, three. There you are. Serafín, con quienes estaban? Estaba con Bárbara. Y con Ivania. Y con Ivania. Ok, I'm going to assign you to that group. José Mejía, your group was? Eh, con Clelia. Clelia. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Baby. Ah, ok. Ok. Y José Armando. Ok, group number one. Okay, excellent. I sent you the invitation. Ana Marlene, I need you in your group. Jose Armando Pacheco, I need you in group number one. Jose Armando Pacheco, al equipo uno. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene, al equipo cuatro. Marlene, are you here? Jose Armando Pacheco. Bye, bien, el cuarto integrante. Uh, no. O sea, Armando Pacheco <laughs> is in your group, but I don't ah, know what okay. happened to him. Because I was talking okay. to him, le estaba llamando, llamando, y nada, igual a Ana Marlene. Oh, so okay. Tenía problema, or maybe they were doing something else, ¿ok? Pero cuando regrese, yo se los envío para acá, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Pueden comenzar a okay. construir las preguntas, ¿verdad? Y cuando él venga, le, le hacen las preguntas, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Porque yes. ya está por acá. Long ah. life to José Armando Pacheco. Larga vida. Aquí está. I told you, ¿ok? Hey, welcome. Ana Marlene estaba en el cuadro. Ok. Ok. Aquí okay, te Ok, bye. 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 Sí, les parece. No sé si me entendieron. Así, yo le pregunto a Noé, Noé a William y William después a mí. Yes, correcto. Uh -huh. Y luego, y luego hace cada, cada quien su párrafo. Yes. Uh -huh. Your little paragraph. Ok. Ok. Y, y la primera pregunta. 
Entonces sería Daniel Check Report. ¿Cómo? Sería Daniel Check Report. Sería Yes, I do. Vanessa le está haciendo las preguntas a Daniel. Yes. yes. Entonces tiene que ser Do you? Do you check reports? Porque usted tiene sus preguntas. Luego Daniel le va a hacer las preguntas a quién? A Guillermo. Pero usted tiene que generar sus propias preguntas, no las mismas preguntas. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Y luego Guillermo le va a preguntar a Vane. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Pero otro ah. tipo de preguntas. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, bye. Bye. Okay. Very well. Vaya, ya tengo. Voy okay. yo. Do you take break in the morning? Mm. Yo entiendo mm. que le está haciendo la pregunta. Sí, sí. Rusos, sí. Seis de trus. Be honest. <risa> yo. La verdad. No, I don't. Mm, no, really. I don't. No, I don't. Ok. Do you play cold? No, I don't. ¿Cómo? Uh, do you make calls? Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Aquí voy a estar poniendo yo solo. Este, do you attend meetings? Uh, no, I don't. Bueno, a que la van a despedir por no atender la reunión. <laughs> ok. Ok. Um, pero a fin. Uh, do you use computer at work? Mm, mm, I, no, I, no, do, I don't sería, ¿verdad? No, I don't. No, I don't. Ok. Um, do you... Va no, Filomena. Filomena. De hecho, una, solo una duda. Eh, para decir, si tomas, tomas autobús todos los días, es, do you have. Do you, do you, do you take do you a bus? bus? No, do you take a bus? Hey, hey, este nervio. Hey, take, tomar, abordar. Uh -huh. Do you take a bus? Porque uh -huh. have es tener. Este do nervio. you take a bus every day? Do you play music? Tiene pregunta, Filomena. A usted, Francisco, ah, ¿dónde ah. la music? Eh, yes, I like music. Yes. Recuerden, las preguntas son de acuerdo a las rutinas en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm. Ah, ok. Bien, ¿no? Ok. Ok. Entonces hagamos otro par más. Ok. Francisco. Yes. Do you work in that? En Wednesday. Yes. Uh -huh. Ya okay. sería una, una, una actividad una que show. realiza. Ajá, que José Armando realiza. José Armando, what's your cars on Wednesday? Eh, ¿Alguien tiene otra pregunta? No, ninguna. You say, José Armando washes his car ah, on Wednesdays. Washes la persona. car on Wednesday. Sí, todas tienen que ir a la respuesta, ¿verdad? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bien anotado ahorita. Eh, y si fuera así, pregunta de tercera persona, entonces yo preguntaría. Das tú, José, no, das José no, das, Armando. Das, ah. das José Armando. Y como cupo das, wash sería plural, ¿verdad? Wash, sin la S. No es plural, es en la forma base. Ah, pero, uh -huh, pero por, porque llevo das, no digo wash, sino que wash. Así es, en la respuesta ya sería washes. Uh -huh. okay, Vea, por ejemplo, acá le ayudo. Das José Armando, right? Yes. La pregunta sería, usted le, el, pero usted le hace la pregunta a los compañeros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque okay. es das José Armando wash his car on un Wednesday, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Acá no lleva la letra S, va en la forma natural del verbo en la base original, porque es pregunta en presente simple y estamos usando el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero si la respuesta, entonces ellos les dirían, yes, ok, mm, he, yes. yes, he does, okay. respuesta okay. corta, full answer, yes, he washes his car on Wednesdays. Sí, on Wednesdays. Pero si usted le pregunta a José Armando directamente sería José Armando, José Armando, do you wash your car Your car on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Él le contestaría. Yes, I do. I wash my car on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Esta es pregunta directa y esta es pregunta indirecta porque no le está preguntando a José. Uy, a José Armando. Le está preguntando a alguien más y es directa porque le pregunta a él directamente. José Armando, do you wash your car on Wednesday? Yes, I do. I wash my car on Wednesdays. Y esta es la indirecta. Le pregunta a alguien más sobre otra persona. Es como que le pregunte a Clelia sobre José Armando. Hey, Clelia, ¿estás José Armando? Wash his car on Wednesdays. Yes, he does. Yes, he washes his car on Wednesdays. Okay, él dice sí. Sí, él lava su carro los miércoles. Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay, very well. Okay. Thank you. Ok, now continue. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver, José Mejía. Sí, tengo uno. Ah, dale, dale. Una pregunta. Eh, do you design advertising? Advertisements. Advertising. Uh -huh. Recuerden que después tienen que construir el párrafo, ¿verdad? De cada persona, para cada persona. Uh -huh. eh. Oíganme, en esta, 
Noah gets up early. He has breakfast at work. He, aquí no es he does print, no. <clears throat> he prints papers. Acá en la afirmativa, ya les dije, en la respuesta completa, no utilizamos prints, pero si lleva S, el verbo. Ok. Pero en la negativa sí está bien. Ah, la okay. negativa, sí, solo en la negativa llevamos el auxiliar y el verbo en, la, en su forma base, en su forma original, ¿de acuerdo? Y ah, acá perfecto. en la afirmativa no lleva das, pero sí el verbo cambia. Le agregas S, E, S, O, ¿qué más? Y e, S dependiendo del final de la terminación del verbo, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Ok. Perfecto, sí. Ok, bye. Bye, bye. La, las tres preguntas las tres preguntas van consecutivas uh -huh. pero tomando es, en cuenta el, la base de la pregunta correcto, así, las oraciones uh -huh. van consecutivas porque van en párrafo no van como lista de respuestas van como párrafo así como está acá mire. párrafo, ¿por qué? porque va una oración, punto, sigue otra oración, punto, sigue otra oración eso es un párrafo, si no si usted la va escribiendo, uno, dos, tres eso es listado, pero acá le dice write a paragraph describing the activities that he or she does or doesn't do escribe un párrafo describiendo lo que él o ella hace o no hace ¿sí? Eh, pues, teacher, sería como Perdón, sería como lo positivo y después lo negativo que no hace. Yes, yes, that's it. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Este, yo creo que, que, el, que lo hice, pero... Le, le dicto para que me vea si lo hice bien. Hello, Daryl. Tenía apagado el micrófono. Sí, mi A ver, vaya, vaya, ok. Ana Verónica take, takes call at the work. She likes the dancing. Oh, no, 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 no. Takes a car at the work. What do you mean by that? Ella se va en carro, en su carro. Al trabajo. No. Eh, que si contestaba llamadas en, en el. Ah, trabajo, takes ajá. calls. Y yo le voy a takes a car. No, okay. no. Takes Ana calls. Verónica okay. takes so, calls at okay. the work. At work. At work, yes. Uh -huh. She likes the dance, dancing. She works the night. She works the weekend. She works at night and uh -huh. she works in the weekend. Pero, sí. ¿y algo que ella no hace? A todas me dijo que sí. No, <risa> hágale otra pregunta. Y ella okay. baila en el trabajo. Ella baila en el trabajo. No, a ella, a ella le gusta bailar. At work. En el trabajo. No. no. When she's alone. <risa> to have a good time. No. No. Ok. Ahí podía okay. hacer algo en el show. But she likes to eat <laughs> hair clips. Bye. Ok, well. Vaya, voy a hacer una oración yo y la voy a decir en la okay. question and, and, and answer. Like, answer. Yes, I Peter. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, Hi. Serafini uses computer at work. He has, no, he drinks coffee. Uh, el, es que el tiene, uh -huh, he drinks coffee. He drinks coffee at work. He doesn't sell. Cuando utilizamos el auxiliar con la negación dasen al verbo no le agregamos s porque ya llevamos el verbo auxiliar. Ok, he doesn't sell products. He doesn't make reports. 
reports, en plural, él no hace reportes. Barbara, no, ¿y qué están haciendo? Es un párrafo por persona, no me van a escribir los tres párrafos allí, porque ¿quién le hizo las preguntas a Serafín? ¿Quién entrevistó a Serafín? Entre las, las dos. Entre, entre no, las dos. Es que no, yo les dije que tomaran turnos, les dije. Es que era el turno de Ivania ahorita, ya habíamos hecho el no, turno. No, pero con... es que no es así. Es que tienen que prestar atención porque los tres deben de tener la misma participación. Ahí me han hecho una mezcolanza. No puede ser así, es un par. Miren la instrucción, miren la instrucción. Ask questions to a partner. Hágale las preguntas a un compañero sobre su rutina. No, para que puedas escribir un párrafo describiendo lo que él o ella hace o no hace. ¿Sí? Lo, lo que pasa es que solo yo puedo escribir, entonces, porque yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Lo Pero que ellos tienen, tienen que escribir en su, en su, en su documento. Okay. Eh, y luego, y acá, miren, she sings at work. Le falta la S. Ella canta en el trabajo. Sí. She sings at work, la, 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 okay. Sí, canta. Agrémele sí. una S acá, she sings at work. She doesn't sí. report things, uh, she doesn't, acá miren de nuevo el error. She doesn't use, quíteme la S, eliminate S, she doesn't use tools, porque una herramienta es no herramienta, elimine A. She doesn't use tools. Box. Tools box. Okay. She sings at work. She takes a plant samples. What is it? Sí, uh, eh, muestra de la de las de las plantas. Muestreo, sí, de plantas. Ah, entonces sería she takes plant samples. Uh -huh. Plants samples. Ivania. Sí. Cada quien con su parrafito después, ¿verdad? Ivania, ok, continue writing. Ok. Mm. Estaban preguntando ahorita. Oh, I'm sorry. Ok, see you later. <risa> see you later. Continue. Pero ahora ya con esas observaciones, ya saben cómo, cómo va la dinámica, ¿verdad? Con el don't, the base form of the verb. En las afirmativas, ahí sí recibe el cambio el verbo. Le agregamos S o E S dependiendo de la naturaleza del verbo, ¿ok? See you. Okay. Mm. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>Sí, no, es que hay unas, sí empezamos, pero las otras sí ya las, ya las orientamos al trabajo. No, pero permítame. Aquí esto, <risa> ¿cómo? Esto no existe. ¿A dónde? Y don't, eso no existe. ¿Por qué me están escribiendo don't? Acá. Eh, do. No, he doesn't. En la primera, ah, no, he doesn't. No, he... Do you don't. watch the... ¿Saben por qué se han equivocado? Porque han mezclado las cosas, no han seguido el orden. Porque acá, ¿para quién son estas preguntas? Todas estas preguntas, ¿a quién se las hicieron? Entre nosotros. Pero es que ustedes, ¿por qué no siguen la indicación? Se los dije hasta en español. Miren, haz preguntas a un compañero, a partner, un compañero acerca de su rutina de él o de ella para que pueda escribir un párrafo describiendo lo que él o ella hace o lo que no hace. Entonces, si usted dice, do you wash the car on Friday? Que le contestó la persona, yes I do or no I don't. Yes I do o oh, no, uh -huh. no I don't. Pero por eso no, le don't. dije, usted va a escribir el nombre de esa persona y la respuesta. Porque ¿quién contestó esa pregunta? No, Francisco. Ah, Francisco. Entonces sería, no I don't. Vaya, imaginémonos que no hay don't. Imaginémonos que las tres primeras o las primeras cuatro se las hicieron a Francisco. Entonces él contestaría no hay don't, yes I do, no hay don't. Cuando usted ya tiene eso, usted va a poder escribir el párrafo acá 
y va a escribir Francisco doesn't wash the car on Friday. Francisco doesn't cook dinner. ¿Por qué me dice do you cook dinner today? Cocinas ahora, cocinas hoy. Do you cook dinner? Entonces va a escribir he doesn't cook dinner. Acá. Do you take a bus every day? He doesn't take a bus every day. ¿Sí? Y lo van a ir escribiendo acá como párrafo, así como se los expliqué en el ejemplo. No sé por qué me están haciendo esto. Les dije, Carlos le puede preguntar a Filomena. Filomena le pregunta a Francisco y Francisco le pregunta a Carlos Miguel. Porque así van a generar un párrafo de lo que Carlos hace y no hace, lo que Filomena hace y no hace, y lo que Francisco Enrique hace y no hace. ¿Sí? Okay. Entonces, por eso es que se han confundido. Si usted pregunta con do, no puede contestar con, con eh, she don't. Sería she doesn't, pero tiene que haber preguntado does she. Does Entonces, she. aquí se han confundido. Okay. ¿Verdad? Hay que corregir. Uh -huh. No, las preguntas están bien. Uh -huh. Las la respuestas son las malas. Que no están uh -huh. incorrectas. Porque Francisco uh -huh. dicen que doesn't wash his car on Friday. Doesn't wash his car on Friday. Pero no me lo tienen que escribir así. Estas tenían que ir aparte. Porque este espacio, si se fija usted, es para un párrafo, no para un listado de respuestas. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Entonces, ¿qué sería aquí? Sería Francisco washes his car or washes the car on Friday. He doesn't cook dinner. He doesn't take a bus every day. He works in the computer. Y hasta ahí. Pero es de él, de Francisco. Por eso la primera oración va a llevar el nombre de la persona. Uh -huh. Y si, por ejemplo, escribimos acá. Eh, Luz doesn't work in the office. She works with construction tools. She resells. ¿Qué es resell money? Um, Revende dinero. Receive, receive, receive. No, resell es revender. Receives money. Entonces sería, como dice, no hay, no hay do. Es no, sí. No, I don't. Sería, she doesn't receive money. Y hasta ahí, pero sería con luz. Filomena luz. ¿Por qué? Porque es el párrafo describiendo las actividades que ella hace y las que no hace. Sí, entonces aquí se han confundido todos, yo no sé por qué. En conclusión, solo respuesta en forma de párrafo. Sí, pero okay. las preguntas tienen que ser diferentes porque cada quien tiene un puesto diferente uh -huh. en su trabajo, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. ok, entonces es un párrafito para Carlos, uno para Luz y uno para Francisco Enrique, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Ya voy a regresar a verificar. Ok. Por eso estamos practicando, ¿verdad? De eso okay. se trata la práctica, de aclarar. ¿Ok? Sí. No creo que son los únicos. <ríe> bye. I'll be back. Bueno, una palabra similar es sing. Eh, do, you, eh, do you like sing, Clelia? Do you like singing? Or do you like sing. to sing? Do you like to sing? Me gusta cantar. Do you like to sing? Do you like, do you like to sing? Ah. Pero recuerden que son actividades del trabajo. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ustedes se van a las actividades de Pocotí. Ya claro, terminaron pues, los tres párrafos. Ya terminaron los tres párrafos. Sí, sí pero de otra actividad, teacher. Vamos a conocer. Ya sé cómo se llaman las mascotas de mis compañeros. Pero en inglés. En inglés. Why do you do that to me? Porque me hacen eso. <risa>
<risa> ya tiene los no, tres pues, párrafos. ¿Sí? Pero sí tenemos, sí, sí tenemos actividades okay, de trabajo. Ok, también. yes, ok. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <risa> you are okay. unique students, son únicos. Bye. <risa> Finished. Yes. Yes. Ok, sí. great, excellent, amazing, congratulations. Ya vamos a compartir en el, en el grupo, ok? Ok. Ok. I see you in 20 seconds, ok? O sea, va al día. Finish class. Yes. 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 Ok. Uh, you're going to volunteer reading your paragraphs in the, in the main session room. Ok. And okay. here in 20 seconds, we're back. Ya está. Finish. Finish. Excellent. Amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> I am monitoring in 10 seconds. Finish. Let's get back, you say. Finish. Okay, great. Thank you. Hello. Finished. Finish. No. Okay. Let's get to the main stage. Sensunte City. Very hot. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the main session room class. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, get ready. Uh, at least at least one student from each group is going to read the paragraph, okay? Describing the activities because it is going to be useful in the next activity. But right now, okay, let me see. Let's wait for group number six, Carlos Miguel, Filomena, they are coming back. Okay, class, I'm going to say your names for the second attendance. Ana Marlene. Present. Ana Verónica. Present. Barbara. Present. Carlos Miguel. Present. Clelia. Present. Okay. Dani. Here I am. Thank you. David. Present. Okay, Filomena. Present. Eh, Francisco Enrique. Francisco sí. Enrique. Guillermo. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth. Here I am. Jonathan. Here I am. Excellent. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Jose Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Vanessa. Present. Milagro Mabelin. Present. Noé Isaí. Noah. Noé. Microphone. Attendance. Say hello. Present teacher. Thank Pardon. you. Okay. Thank you. Serafín Constanza. Here I am. William Francisco. Present. Okay, class, thank you so much. And now I'm going to ask uh, from group. Hmm, from group number four, Ana Marlene, Ana Veronica, Milagro, one volunteer to read at least one description. Una cada uno. Comience Ana Marlene, si gusta. Okay, she's the okay. team leader. Yo le como un poco, corríame aquí si me equivoco, no, please. Okay. okay. I'm reading now. Milagro don't have a breakfast at no. 6 p.m. No, 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 no. Milagro What doesn't it? have. Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't yes. have. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Milagro doesn't have a breakfast at 6 p.m. 
and she doesn't is correct she doesn't yes she doesn't correct. go to work early milagro attend attended meeting attends. on her work attends, attends. Mm -hmm. meeting on her work and she doesn't finish to work early excellent okay okay madeline Okay, um, Anna Veronica takes call at work. Mm -hmm. She works at night. Uh, she works the weekend. And Anna doesn't clean the office. Okay, excellent. Anna Veronica? Boy. Boy. Okay, 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 okay. Not boy. Okay. <laughs> Madeline makes call. She attends meetings. She drinks coffee. Madeline checks email. She takes break in the morning. Takes or doesn't take? Takes. Okay. Excellent. Very well done. Congratulations. Another team. Maybe Jonathan's group. Who's going to participate? Jonathan, in your group? At least one. Uh -huh, yes, go ahead, excellent. Okay. Noe gets up, get up. Uh, Microphone. Uh -huh. He has breakfast at the work. He prints paper. He doesn't arrange meetings. He doesn't arrange meetings. Very well, excellent, good representation. Now, uh, Clelia, David, Emanuel, Jose Armando, Jose Mejia, one participant at least. Group number Hi, one. Teacher. Okay, Hi, please, please go ahead. Uh, Clelia drink coffee in the morning in her office. Drinks. Uh, drinks. Uh, Jose Pacheco. Uh, is a leader in his work. Uh, Jose Mejia, Jose Mejia doesn't handle money in his job. Uh, and I prepare reports every day. So you wrote one sentence for each of you, pero tenían que haber escrito un párrafo para cada uno. Ah. Sí, así era, describiendo las actividades que hacen o no hacen, pero thank you for your, for your participation, ¿ok? okay. And uh, let's see here. In group number three, we have Dani, Guillermo, and Vanessa. Who's going to participate? Hello. Ok, please. Uh, Daniel Chick report. He do check email. Don't, don't he read report he doesn't write reports he doesn't yeah. write he doesn't write reports okay uh, guillermo make inventory he he do receive merchandising he merchandise. Re he receives merchandise he receives merchandise he receive merchandise mm -hmm. he don't Repair, repair computer. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. doesn't repair computers. Vanessa answer calls. Okay. She doesn't receive pro providers. 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 She don't. She doesn't. She doesn't bills. She doesn't make bills, yes? Make bills. Okay, very okay. well. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see here. Barbara Ivania Serafin. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Serafin use com uses computer at work. He drinks coffee at work. He doesn't sell products. He doesn't make reports. 
Barbara doesn't use tools box. She thinks at work. She takes plan samples. Excellent, congratulations. Do we have somebody from uh, the last group? Carlos Miguel, Filomena? Do we have a participation? Mm, hello. And Francisco, uh -huh. um, <coughs> Francisco, that's work in the computer. Uh, I'm called customer. Uh, I'm that's called, called customer, customer. Um, uh, um, that's an install software. Okay, uh, very well. Uh, Filomena doesn't work with construction tools and does receive money in the world. She doesn't uh, receive, she doesn't she, receive she doesn't money. She doesn't receive money in the world and doesn't check email in the morning. Carlos does check you, your email. And Car no, 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 no. Carlos checks his checks email. Checks. His email, mm -hmm. his email, and does work in the computer every day. And works, works in the computer. In the computer every day. Okay. Mm, Carlos doesn't to work heavy tools. Doesn't work with doesn't heavy with tools. Heavy tools. Heavy tools. Okay. Thank you so much. Very well. Okay. You describe the activities that your partners do and the activities that they don't do. And now here you have ask different partners each of the occupations. Does at the workplace pay attention to the question software engineer, human resource specialist, financial analyst, insurance agent, bookkeeper, digital marketing manager, okay? And then you're going to write here, for example. Okay. Mm, let's imagine that I'm going to write here, Veronica. Okay, Veronica. <clears throat> Veronica, what does a software engineer do? What does a software, a software engineer do? No, I don't. No, es que no le estoy preguntando si ustedes qué es lo que hace un software engineer. Y nos vamos a regresar. Install porque program. Ya... Install program. Ok. Eh, install ah. Here. Eh. Here. Do you remember this? You have the answers here. Yes or no? No, eso no es. Software engineer. Uh -huh. Acá está lo que hace. Design and develop different softwares. Yes or no? Yeah. Ok, muy bien. Entonces vamos a tomar, vamos a trabajar simultáneamente page 19 and page 27. Here. Sí, entonces en sus equipos ustedes les van a preguntar, van a hacer esta pregunta. What does, ya? Yeah? What does do? What a, does a software engineer do? Y escriben la respuesta en este caso que Verónica va a dar, aquí la que va a dar Noé, la que va a dar Bárbara para What does a human resource specialist do? ¿Qué hace un human resource specialist? What does a financial analyst do? ¿Qué hace un financial analyst? Y nos referimos a page 19 because you have the activities that they do. Yes? And here insurance agent, bookkeeper, and digital marketing manager. Is that okay? Yes, this is the question. What does blah, blah do? Y aquí vamos a completar con estas profesiones y ocupaciones y van a escribir el nombre de su compañero o compañera que le va a dar la respuesta a esa pregunta y escriben la respuesta que esa persona les va a dar. Okay? Yes? Yes. But the answers, because it is a, a feedback, it is a review of the vocabulary. And in here, you are going to write the days of the week in order. Y acá vamos a escribir los días de la semana en orden, okay? okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay. and mm -hmm. Sunday. Pero correctamente escrito, okay? So let's go to the breakout rooms.
Okay. And then we're going to double check. There we go. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups. Noé, ¿en cuál equipo estaba? Noé. Hola, Noé. ¿Con quiénes estaba Hola. trabajando? ¿Con quiénes estaba trabajando? Con, con Jonathan. Ahorita creo que le di a aceptar. Sí, sí, a... sí. Ok. Veamos. Ah, group number two. Acá lo, le voy a asignar y ahí le envío la invitación. Group number two. Thank ok. You. Ok, ok. Gracias. Great. Eh, no sé si esta habría necesidad de, de, de ponerla y o solo se las pregunto y ustedes me, me responden y así vamos tomando nota. Eh, se las pongo ahí en pantalla si quieren. Entonces, Ajá, la, la, la complementamos entre los tres. Ok. Y eh, yo. Ay, lo anotamos. Ahí. Es de comp compartirlo vos y ahí lo, lo vamos anotando. Ajá, ok, yes, that's it. Yes. Ok. En la página 19. Se software 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 Ajá. Pero para eso tendremos que irnos a la página. La... Haga un guión y ponga tú y ahí vamos a responder para dejar los referenciales. ¿Cuántas? Haga un guión, o sea, un guión, pues me refiero a un espacio. Ah, ok. Sí, una línea en blanco. Ajá, bye. ¿Cuántas? Tú, solo le falta el tú y sí. Okay, um, what does a human research, research specialist do, Serafín? Eh, quiero ver la respuesta, es ahí, um, eh, analyst, ¿cómo se diría? Um, analysis. Analysis the... Eh, de como dicen los candidatos a, a, a employers de potential employees potential employers o interviews de, de potential employees ajá. recuerden que bueno, como acá ya están dando una respuesta ajá, de tercera persona ya le agregan a los verbos la letra S ¿sí? ah, okay. designs and designs. develops different oh. softwares uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Different. Okay. Um, uh, three. 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 Uh, now the categories and regulation. A final analyst. Help people in businesses manage their finances. No. No, ¿verdad? No. Ya es la segunda vez que me pasa esto. Este, ah, no puede ser. Híjole, se me trabó. Bueno, así, así como está, quizá je, va a tocar, no, a no, pero, pero igual, como ya está ahí, va solo, solo las la ponemos. Vaya, es... gente de seguro, quizás 
insurance agent, agente de seguros. Sí. En el nombre pongámosle eh, analista financiero, que sea Daniel, digamos. Ok. Y... Finances. 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 Ahora sí, Vania. Okay. Ah, okay, sí. Después nos, los días de Ahora la le pregunta a Bárbara a Ivania. Le preguntaría. Okay. What the Does uh, insurance agent, agent. Mm, now the police and regulation, policies and regulation in below in the management of employees? Ay, pero quisiera escribir, pero no puedo. <laughs> Aquí le escribo yo. Miren, employees es con doble E. Ah, ya ven que les dije. Pero lo que acaba de, lo que acaba de leer Ivania no es con el agente de, de seguros. No, es ah, el okay. no, lo que usted acaba de leer también lo hace el Human Resources Specialist. Oh. No voy a mover. Oh, help mm. keep track of the financial account of company. No, that's the bookkeeper. Creo que es la número cuatro. Create an adversity of the company. Digital marketing. No, that is the digital marketing manager. Uy, nos sacamos cero. And help people and business manager de finanzas. Yes. <risa> ¿En qué me equivoqué? Helps people, oh, espérense, helps people and business manager. Lo hemos puesto al revés, teacher. This. Okay, helps people and business managers, insurance agents. Yes, that's it. And financial analyst helps people. Help people in companies against well, financial, financial loss and man, manager risks. Entonces, ese sería el insurance agent. Y lo que han escrito acá en el insurance agent va al financial analyst. Porque los analistas bancarios, ¿qué es lo que hacen? Pues? Ayudar a las personas a hacer negocios. Ah, correcto. Y el otro va contra el riesgo. Risk. Entonces, ¿sí estábamos bien? Estábamos bien. No, 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 porque estaban poniendo lo del, lo del human resources, de potential employees, no sé qué estamos poniendo, del management que se sabía las políticas de, de, de los empleados. Eso estaban escribiendo. Okay, okay, helps people and, okay. Okay, see you because it's almost time to say goodbye. Okay. okay. Design. Ahí va bien. Design. Así, ¿verdad? Sí, design, está bien. Ajá. ¿Qué mantiene? Design es publicidad. Publicidad. Marketing. Porque publicidad, no me, no, no, no me recuerdo cómo debería. Eh, sí, design, design, design. Marketing projects, that's correct. Yeah. Ajá, correcto, marketing projects. Design, marketing, marketing Le falta project, Mili. Sí, ahorita, tranquila. <risa> Conté al final. Como sueño. Yes. 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 Yes.
let's get back to the main session room because it's okay. time to say goodbye. We're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. 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 Excellent. Okay, let's wait for the others. Danny, hello, Danny, how are you? How are you? I'm okay, and you? Hello? Yo estoy bien, y usted, I am okay, and you? How are you? Yes, okay. Okay, Danny, let me tell you that you are going to stay with me 10 minutes today, okay? For okay. the reinforcement, okay? Para el refuerzo. Esperemos que la plataforma nos traiga de regreso a los compañeros porque todavía están trabajando. Uh, okay. So we can say goodbye, okay? But now everybody's here. Okay, class, listen. Tomorrow we're going to go deeper into this activity and as an extra practice, I would like you to complete okay, the days of the week. Tomorrow we're going to go deeper into this. Remember, tomorrow is mandatory for you to stay here. Para mañana, necesito que todos estén acá porque vamos a tener el repaso general de la unidad y le va a servir un poquito para quienes aún no terminan la... la la práctica, ¿verdad? En la plataforma y el examen, ¿sí? Para que lo refuercen, ¿ok? So today I'm going to stay with Danny 10 minutes and tomorrow we're going to double check this activity because you need to go to sleep to rest, ¿ok? So have a good night. Thank you for your attendance. Congratulations. Excellent. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Guys, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 It's a pleasure. Bye. Danny, good stay night. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Be well, sweet dreams. Okay, enjoy your dreams. Bye bye. Relax. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, Luz. See you tomorrow, Luz. Bye bye. Okay, Danny, here we go. Danny, veamos en qué estamos teniendo un poquito de dificultad. Con do it does. Do it does. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yeah. Cuando es plural. Vaya, ok, acá le explico, Dani. Permítame en el libro. Ok, aquí en el manual. Ah, es que uno de estos días usted tuvo problemas con el internet, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Ok, Dani, here we have. We are at page 26, by en la página 26 que estamos viendo hoy. Si usted se fija, does she ask for assistance? Does he drive the truck on weekends? Does Elena, bye Jonathan. We finished the class, Jonathan. Bye. Jonathan. Hi Jonathan, terminamos la clase, ya está con el refuerzo con Dani. Okay. Ay, que se perdió conexión los últimos minutos, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no sé si los compañeros este, regresaron o qué pasó. Sí, todo el mundo regresó, todos regresamos, pero mañana vamos a, a reforzar lo que estábamos trabajando ahora, porque ya eran Listo. las 10 y 5 minutos. Okay. Listo. Listo, está bien, perdón. Okay. Se, me, se me está trabando la máquina ahora. Yes, I noticed that you had some problems. Uh, okay. okay, so have a good night, Jonathan. Bye, thank you for coming back. Bye. Bye. See you. Have a good night, Jonathan. Okay, let's continue. Con qué me pasó con Guillermo, me pasó antier también eso, que regresó uh -huh. por el problema de conexión. Okay, entonces uh -huh. decíamos que does she ask for assistance? Does he drive the truck on weekends? Does Elena make phone calls? Does our company check the policies? No policies, policies, uh -huh. políticas de una empresa, ¿verdad? Política institucional. Política. Ajá, policies, policies. Política. Entonces, fíjese, contestamos con yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Yes, uh -huh. he does, no, he doesn't. Por eso les digo, tiene que verificar con cuál es el, el, eh, el auxiliar que les preguntan, con ese mismo se contesta. Mire, no voy a decir, uh, does she ask for assistance? Yes, she do, no, that is not correct. Uh -huh. 
o no, she don't, no, that is not correct. Tenemos que fijarnos con el auxiliar que está en la pregunta y con ese mismo vamos a contestar. Entonces, utilizamos das para he, she, it. Y utilizamos do or don't, lo tenemos acá, mire, para uh -huh. I, you, they, or we, ¿sí? Y entonces, uh -huh. do I get up early? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. No vamos a decir, yes, I does, or no, yes. I doesn't. No, yes, I do. Entonces, do, la pregunta, contestamos con do, or don't, en negativo. Don't. Sí. Okay. Vaya, entonces veamos acá, por ejemplo. Uh, here, vamos a trabajar unas oraciones. Si yo le digo, ok, do I check emails? Entonces, si yo le pregunto, hey Danny, do I check emails? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes. Yes, I do. Bueno, así aparece en el libro, yes I do, pero si yo le pregunto, Dani, do I check emails? Usted me contestaría, yes you do, porque yo le pregunto que si yo le pregunto a usted, pero en este caso, cuando contestamos yes I do, está bien porque es como que usted se pregunte, do I check emails? Ok, y yo reviso, sí, yo tengo que revisarlos, ok. And then we have, do you um, understand the lesson? Do you understand the lesson? The answer is, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Afirmativo. Yes, I, yes, I, I do. Y si fuera negativo? Eh, no, no, I, I no, I don't. Muy bien. En respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, next question. Do, uh, acá sería ya con does he? Does he... Uh, Answer the phone. Does he uh, answer the phone? Yes. Yes, yes, he does. Okay, yes, he does. Or negative? No, he does. No, he doesn't. He no, doesn't. he doesn't. Doesn't. No, he doesn't. And if I say, does she... Um, Arrange the meetings. Does she arrange the meetings? Yes, she does. does. Okay, yes, she, she does. does. Or in negative? No. No, she doesn't. Excellent. No, she doesn't. And if I say does, it drink milk. Acá le estoy preguntando que si, por ejemplo, el gato, ¿verdad? Does mm -hmm. it drink milk? And the answer is yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It. It. It does. Does. Very well. Yes, it does. Or yes. in negative, no. No. It, it does. Doesn't. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Very well. And now, do we do we um, plan to go to the beach? Do we plan to go to the beach, Danny? Uh, yes, yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. We do. And in negative, no. No, we do. Mm -mm. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, very well. And now here, if we say, for example, do they, do they, um, do they attend meetings? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, they do. Yes, or, they do. Or no? No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Pero qué pasa cuando la, la oración es afirmativa y completa? Empecemos con acá, yes I do or no I don't, right? No I don't. 
Entonces, si la respuesta fuera afirmativa, completa sería I check email. emails. Acá no vamos a decir I do check emails, no. I check emails. Si fuera negativa, sería I don't check. Acá sí llevamos el auxiliar con el negativo. I don't check emails. Ok. And then, do you understand the lesson? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Este es singular. Entonces sería, I understand the lesson. Lesson. ¿Sí? The lesson. Y negativo, I, I don't. don't. Uh -huh. I don't qué? Understand the lesson. The lesson. Si se fija en las afirmativas oraciones completas, no usamos auxiliar, pero en el negativo sí, ¿verdad? De acuerdo sí. al de la pregunta. Ahora venimos a lo más interesante, Dani. Acá, mire, en negativo. Does he answer the phone? Sería, yes, he answers answer the, phone. the phone. ¿Qué sucede acá? En tercera persona, como no llevamos en una oración afirmativa el verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Das o dasen, porque es afirmativa, entonces al verbo en tercera persona, que es he, le vamos a agregar una S, ¿sí? En este sí. caso. Y si fuera negativa, la respuesta, ¿cuál sería, Dani? No, he. No, he. Dasen. Doesn't. And will. Answer sin la S. ¿Por qué? Sí. Porque ya llevamos el verbo auxiliar en negativo, dasen. Entonces, sí. fíjese acá en answer, no le agregamos la S, solo en el afirmativo, porque en el afirmativo no vemos el verbo auxiliar, no lo usamos. Next one, sí. does she arrange the meeting? En afirmativo, it should be, yes, yes. she sí. Arrange. arranges the meeting. The Excellent. Very well. She arranges the meetings. And in negative, no. no. She doesn't. Doesn't. Arrange the meeting. Arrange the meetings. Y aquí ya no le agregamos ese tampoco porque ya llevamos doesn't, ese verbo auxiliar en negativo. Now let's talk about the cat or maybe a puppy, un perrito. Does he drink milk? Yes, yes, it, it drinks, drinks, drinks milk. milk, milk, very well. And in negative, no, uh, no. it, it doesn't, doesn't drink, drink milk. milk, very drink. well, excellent. And now, do we, do we plan to go to the beach uh, in full answer? Yes. yes, we plan, plan to, to go, go to the beach. Very well. And in negative, ¿cómo sería en negativa completa? No. No, we doesn't. We don't, porque es do we. we porque don't. es plural. No, we don't. No, we don't plan to go. To the beach. Yes? No, yes. we don't plan to go to the beach. Okay, great. And now the last one. Here. Do they attend meetings? Yes. Yes, they. Yes. They. Attend. Attend meetings. Como es plural, ellos, ya no le agregamos ese al verbo, ¿verdad? Y el negativo ah. completo sería no. no. They, they don't. They don't attend meetings. Attend meetings. Uh -huh. okay. No, they don't attend meetings. ¿Sí quedó claro esto? Yes. Ok, very well. ¿Me I erase? ¿Puedo borrar? Yes. Ok. ¿No screenshot? No. Bien, ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Ya. Yeah.
Ok. Y recuerde que los cambios en presente simple de los verbos para tercera persona de singular, we add S, generally le agregamos la S a los verbos. Por ejemplo, play, plays, yes, uh, yes. drink, drinks, pero estos cambios solo son en tercera persona de singular, sí, he, she, it. ¿Qué pasa, Dani, cuando el verbo termina en Y, pero que no sea play? Por ejemplo, carry. En este caso, eliminamos la Y y agregamos I, I, E, S, ¿sí? Carries, como este, ¿sí? O en el verbo cry. You eliminate the Y and you add I, I, E, S. For example, cries. Yes, she cries uh, every day. Ella llora todos los días. And when the verb ends in X, cuando el verbo termina en X, for example, fix, we add ES, fixes. Yes? Okay, Danny. Hello, Danny. Danny, are you here with me? Danny está por aquí conmigo. Danny, Daniel, do you listen to me? Danny, me escucha. Hello, Danny. Daniel, Alberto, Ramos, Osorio, I don't listen to you and I don't see you. Are you with me? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Hello, Danny. Did you lose the connectivity? Danny. Okay. 